I believe that uh, environment and economy go hand in hand. They are like the two sides of the same coin. And if we cannot sustain our environment, we cannot sustain our economy. Period. So, um, when I talk about blockchain can probably be helpful in saving our climate and saving our planet, you might think that I'm making a very bold statement. And um, I believe most of us have been associating blockchain with something like crypto or DeFi, uh, decentralized financing. And therefore, it's important that we understand blockchain in a way where we can utilize and exploit it in a manner of saving us instead of just making money in this consumeristic environment. So, what exactly is blockchain? It's a digital ledger which distributes and duplicates information or data which we have um, in blocks and creates a chain depending upon the transaction, uh, the, the heaviness of the transaction, and that's how it works. Now, if I talk about blockchain, imagine how, if, if we can harness the power of blockchain in ESG, the Environment Social Governance Initiatives. And when I say ESG, it's not just the environment, it's not just companies and individuals taking care of the waste and resources. It's also about mm. how companies treat their people, very important. Mm. Uh, what are the policies and frameworks mm. uh, which are in place in and back. how blockchain can be the yeah. right digital ledger to utilize and put everything together. It's mobile, it's user friendly, it saves your time, it pinpoints inefficiencies. And this is why I am here because um, it's very important for investors nowadays to look at how a company manages its resources. And that's what in impact investing is all about. So when we talk about ESG prerogatives, it's also impact investing and they investors are looking at how companies run themselves. So that's very major. And therefore today I, Kriti Sharma, um, who has also worked in the ESG space, uh, who's currently working as a commercial technology lawyer and a blockchain lawyer, um, is here to talk about achieving ESG milestones using blockchain. And to turn back the clock, I'll tell you a story. So my great grandfather used to use a tree stem to brush his teeth. It's called the Neem Datun. Uh, people who don't know may Google it. And he would peel off a, a sugar cane in a jiffy. If I imagine myself in my 80s, if I'm able to pull that off, I think I'll be a happy senior citizen waiting for somebody to start my apple. So this is the irony and this is the world we are living in. The summers used to be hot. The winters used to be cold. The monsoons used to be rainy and today we are in a space where we are hustling and struggling to get fresh air. We have you know, air purifiers installed in each room. We have so much waste, so much carbon footprints around us that it's shameful. And this is why today we are forced to think about ESG prerogatives for ourselves and our future generations. And this can't get any worse because we have chemicals and microplastic in our food, in our air, in our water, and in our bloodstreams. So this is where we stand today. Having said that, most of the company, most of the people who are pro ESG are trying to look for better synergies of how they can fasten and make a much more efficient, sustainable um, you know, structure around how things are working. Nothing will work without a structure. And this is the consciousness which we will have to live with. Otherwise, I don't think this generation um, will be able to give something better than where we are today to the coming generations. And What's the use of a nice house if there is not a tolerable planet to put it on, isn't it? Um, apart from this, I think the consumers have become very conscious today. Uh, they want quality products. They want something where they associate themselves with something more organic, something chemical free. So why not take the initiative? I believe that it's very important for us to understand where we stand. 
we need to have the courage to build something stronger and not just mint money. As I said, we are living in a capitalist world. So building that consciousness is the next step which we should create for ourselves and the coming generation. Now, when I talk about blockchain, how can it actually help? Like, what is this digital ledger I'm talking about? This digital ledger is nothing but something which can help us ensure that we are not dependent upon middlemen. The beauty of blockchain is that we can combat bureaucracy. We can make sure that our data is protected. Uh, blockchain can act as an intermediary which can transfer data safely and safeguard it and create um, a channel where it can put one thing to another network safely and without any hassle. And I say this because I also work in data privacy. I know the hassle of cyber crimes. I know what, it, what happens when um, data is hacked. So I completely respect and honor how important framework and governance is. Now, moving on to something interesting is, you remember we used to have a concept of writing letters and then the mailman would take the letters to our loved ones and then they would read it. I still respect that concept, but now we have, times have changed. We have come in, in, in an era where uh, there is social media and technology has just made the world so small. The world can be your oyster if you create it right. And this is why I think blockchain technology is something which we should advocate because I believe that if we are able to create a structure where we have something which can bar people from misappropriating data, making false promises, not walking the talk, that's where blockchain will help us. Also, Blockchain can help in a system and ESG cannot work without blockchain because one, it, so there is a, a statistics which says that by 2025, one third of the AU, AUM of the world asset under management will be ESG assets. Now, how do you track if the ESG is being functioned correctly, right? As I said, ESG is not just environment, it's also social where you have your people, where you have your customer satisfaction and you have governance, you have your policies, you have to make sure there's no corruption, things are functioning in the right way. We have to learn to be disciplined. That will happen only if we move to the cloud. That will happen only if we have a proper digital ledger in place. It may also help us create less of middlemen, less of issues where um, you know companies do not know the reporting structure. I think it's easier for bigger companies to manage this because there are trained professionals, as I said, data privacy, as I said, impact investing. But how do you manage a smaller cap company looking at it? And this is when a digital ledger of blockchain will help. This is when and it's practically very less fee. It's fast. It's super fast. Um, and I believe that it's also very efficient because if there are there is AI and bots which are making sure that your you know, information is being churned right. You have this, the correct kind of supply chain management in place where you can track your carbon footprints, where you know um, how you can control spoilage, where you can manage transportation better, whether um, it is traceability, whether it is trust, whether it is transferability, everything has to be um, in one place and that's what technology can bring to us. Now, something interesting which I think we all should be aware about and we are not is where the planet is going or maybe we are aware but we don't know what to do about it. So, I think that is when we have to gather science and technology and make sure that they go hand in hand because otherwise I don't think that there is an option of planet B. Uh, we all know that if the mankind vanishes from this earth, this earth will recuperate and it will bring itself back to the equilibrium. It's not the same with insects. If the insects are gone, 
the planet is gone. So this is where we stand today. This is who we are to the planet. And we owe this responsibility to the planet. I'm talking about efficiency with accountability. We are responsible for creating a planet which has a proper ecosystem in place. And this is the challenge of change which we have to bring in. Um, having said that, I believe that a better supply chain management system can bring a lot of structures together and not just supply chain. I have talked about data portability. I have talked about making the world a better place, a smaller place, a more compact place for each other where people do not end up uh, in corrupt assessment of how things can be converted. And um, at the end of Whatever I have said, I believe that we cannot do this by ourselves. We have to come together. There has to be a proper you know, blockchain system. So just to give you an example, there are apps, there are blockchain apps, which can actually trace. Like if you want to order something, if you, if you are a vegetarian or a non-vegetarian, there are apps which will tell you where to fetch the freshest and the most organic product within the 30 mile radius of where you stand. Imagine how we can combat the carbon footprints which will be created, how we can make sure that um, you know, we do not use too much of transportation that then actually required. So that is the concept of ESG. And uh, I believe that it's high time. Um, the change is required and uh, we have to believe in it. So thank you so much for having me.